What's going on creatives? So I am at 98 videos and I think this is a good opportunity for me to think about my strategy going forward. I started the channel with no clear strategy in mind, but I knew I needed to get going. And that's the advice you get from a lot of YouTube strategists. Every time I put on Think Media video, it's in his intro, he's like, you gotta just press record. And so that's what I did. So I decided that for the first 100 videos, I wouldn't look at my analytics. I wouldn't worry about subscribers. Uh, I don't even think I asked anyone to press the like button or subscribe to the channel. Um, pretty much none of that. I just produced videos. So the reason I did that is one, I took the advice uh, of the YouTube strategist and Number two, I wanted to find out, could I make 100 videos? So that was the first thing. And number two, the idea of not looking at analytics was to not get drawn into the numbers or folk and just focus on quality and content, learning YouTube and learning how to make good videos. I think I've gotten better over time. And it's just one of those things where because I make videos for my day job, I actually didn't want to put a lot of effort into my YouTube videos. And so I wanted to make the simplest, easy, easiest videos possible because I'm editing at work. I didn't want YouTube to become a second job. Uh, so that's the irony of my videos is that I'm actually trying to put as little effort into them as possible and get the maximum quality out of them. But I got to 98 and I thought, okay, I need to think about how I'm going to do this going forward. And it just so happened that Nate Black, whom I follow, and I've been following for quite a while, released the video and it's called how the YouTube algorithm works 2024, the fire method. And this video, and this video resonated with me and it struck a chord because I was in the midst of trying to figure out this very thing. And I will put a link in the description to the video, because I think if you like YouTube and you're creating videos, you should watch um, that video. But let me break it down. F um, is the fire method, uh, F-I-R-E, and F is for find your campground, find your niche. What is the niche? I is for ignite the different types of content, and he broke the different types of content down into three, and really just starting a campfire. I, I thought it was pretty clever, and it was tender, quick attention grabbing videos, Kitling, um, the more in-depth tutorial style content and logs. Those are the long form, comprehensive, evergreen um, type content. The R is for repeat for consistency and the E is for expand your influence. Um. So please go check out that video. The, the fire method he presented it this was, I thought, I am going to do this and I'm going to look at my channel with this method in mind. So the thing that struck me is that when I went through this process, it was, okay, I needed to change. And there are three reasons why. Uh, the three reasons why I wanted to kind of changes because one, I wanted to shift the focus and get more into projects. And what I found over 90, the 98 videos that I created is that I started leaning into generative AI to create stories. And you can see the list of videos that in, in the channel. And that's because I naturally like to write stories, but I write short stories. And in a way, generative AI was a gift for me because I have a lot of ideas in my head that never got on paper and generative AI allowed me to get all of those ideas 
out of my head, but onto and onto paper. But I didn't think generating content for stories was a long-term strategy for the channel. Um, so that's the reason why I wanted to get into more project-based material. Uh, and I didn't want the channel to become another AI channel, nor did I want it to be all about content generation for stories. And don't get me wrong, I love stories, and but here's the thing, I'm not a publisher. I'm not a published author and I'm not even trying to be one. So when it comes to writers and people who are trying to perfect their craft in writing novels, writing stories, trying to get them out into the world, do I add any value to that population? Probably not. I mean, maybe you come to me and learn how to generate some characters for your book or come make a, a book cover or something, but I'm not re really adding real value. So that was part of it. And that brings me to my third reason. And that was getting into a space where I can actually add value. My real value is utilizing creative tools to help customers along the path to purchase. And that's where I can make a difference. So if I think about the cap ground method, then I realize is that my niche is the customer journey. And now that I know what my niche is, the customer journey, I can now start to think about, well, how do I ignite the content for that? And what I'm going to do is engage in a bunch of sparks. And these are going to be the shorter videos, eight to nine minutes, uh, quick hits, kind of the same content I've been doing, but with the idea that I know I'm going to move into the kit kindling videos, which are going to be my 20 to 30 minute videos. And those are going to be more focused on some aspect of the customer journey. How do you take these sparks and then put them into a bigger project and then think about the customer journey? And when we think about the customer journey, the customer journey is this. It is awareness and discovery. It is the decision and the consideration and, and the, it is the consideration and decision it is on board and training, and it is uh, in mastery and advocacy. So that's the customer journey. And I will get into more details of what this really means going forward, but that is um, really where I wanted to, to get into. Okay, so that's where I'm at with this. And I think this is a better long-term strategy is a better use of my talent and is going to make the cha channel more interesting and it'll make it more interesting because I will be more interested in doing the type of things that I like doing. And I think it allows me to feature some software, it allows me to broaden the type of software, the content that I'm creating and showing people what to do. So this is video 99 explaining what I'm doing going forward. So video 100 will be the first spark to everything going forward. And I'm excited about it. And I hope that you guys who have subscribed to the channel have come to the channel. I'm hoping that you follow me going forward. I think I can still give you the things that you subscribe for novel crafter dolly three mid journey still going to do those things but they're going to get kind of mixed into a larger um, strategic content and if for lack of better saying so that is it i'm excited and so i look forward to it just want to make that quick note as to what i am doing and i appreciate all of you 860 subscribers with absolutely no strategy behind it, but I feel good about everything going forward. All right.
That's it. Have a good one.